Hi everybody, welcome back to my New Year's Eve cleaning video. I need to get the house sorted. It is an absolute tip after Christmas. As you can imagine, we've got two young children, so we've got lots of new presents in the house and I've just needed to find a house and a home for all these presents and everything that's come in. Um, and also just, just, we've just been relaxing at home. So obviously there's just a lot more um, clutter around and yeah is, the house is in desperate need of a bit of a tidy um, I am starting off in the kitchen and I'm just going to be putting away some clean um, washing here um, and then as always getting on with some more washing up I do not have a dishwasher so I do have to hand wash absolutely everything so I've let it pile up now now I'm just gonna tackle this and get it done Okay, so the washing up is now all done and I'm just letting that dry. So now what I'm doing is completely clearing um, the work surfaces so that I can give those a really nice wipe down and clean. Um, we do have white surfaces so they do show up a lot of dirt and grime. So I regularly have to do this. Um, obviously being in the kitchen, I make sure I do as well. Um, I just noted some marks on the tiles behind so I wanted to give those a bit of a wipe and clean as well. Um, so I'm just doing that too. Moving on to the hob now, and I'll be honest, over Christmas, this definitely took a bit of a bashing. Um, obviously, with a lot of cooking Christmas dinner and food, um, it's just, yeah, needed a desperate clean. As you can see, the amount of dirt that is just on here. So that is what I am tackling next. Um, and this, it comes up so well and just looks brand new again. As you can see, we've still got lots of treats and bits which are on the sides. So we need to find homes and put things away um, that we haven't used yet. So I've still got um, some mince pies that we haven't eaten. I don't know how because I absolutely love a mince pie. <laughs> I'm so sure they'll be eaten soon. Um, and we still got some bits and bobs out on the sides that, yeah, as I say, need to be put away. So now that all is all put away, I'm just going to clear the sides as much as possible and again give this side of the kitchen a nice clean and wipe down. So that is looking so much nicer. I do feel so much better once the kitchen's all done and back in place and clean. Trust me, it doesn't stay like this for very long. As soon as the next meal needs cooking, um, it pretty much needs cleaning again. Um, but moving over to the other side of the room, as you can see, there is stuff everywhere. We had this little table set up in the corner there as a little kind of treat and, and drinks table over Christmas and um, so that's still holding a lot of treats at the moment um, and again I'm just going to start by clearing the table and um, putting some few things away we have some spare glasses out which I'm putting in the glasses cabinet 
um, just emptying the dehumidifier as well um, as we do dry our washing in here so that really helps um, dry our washing that little bit quicker and just collects all the moisture in the room um, and then I'm just going to be wiping down the table as it is a white table it does show up a lot of dirt and obviously having had extra guests over Christmas this just got a little bit mucky um, but that is coming up and looking really good now. So kitchen is all done as well as the dining area so that's looking much better now. Now moving on to the front room um, as you can see there is so many new toys in here I mean look at this pile of toys that I need to find a new home for I'm also gonna have a really quick slight declutter of Theo's baby toys um, as there's lots he doesn't use now and I just wanted to share this quick little hack so I've got these fruit and veg bags these clear bags um, when we went shopping and I thought that would be really great to hold Amelia's Lego she got some new Lego sets for Christmas um, and obviously wanting to keep them in in their sets um, so those bags are brilliant for stuff like that or if you've got a toy that you want to keep together they're really really handy so I'm just going through um, the toys now I'm just trying to put them into categories what I'm going to take upstairs so everything here is going upstairs and then I've made another pile that is going to be staying in the front room and then a pile also for the kitchen So they're Amelia's new Lego sets that she got. That's what um, I was saying about keeping the sets together in those bags. And this is the cabinet where I, we keep kind of all Amelia's kind of board games. Um, so I'm just going to go through them now. I'm going to try and rotate some and take some upstairs and, and then put all her new ones in here. And again, just having a little um, sort through, these are the Trofast units from Ikea, which are amazing and they hold so many toys. They really are fantastic. Um, but I just wanted a tray for Theo. He ha actually hasn't got his own drawer at the moment to hold toys. Um, so I'm just going to be taking a few of Amelia's upstairs, um, maybe ones that she doesn't use so much, just so that he could have one um, as well um, and then I'm just going to be going through as well his basket here as I said there's a couple of like little small rattles and toys that maybe are just a little bit too young for him now um, so I'm going to be putting those away um, and then keeping out his new toys that he got for Christmas I'm also cleaning this side as well this does become a little bit of a dumping ground in the front room so I'm just going to be clearing out everything and putting back things where they need to be as well and finding new homes um, for the new toys. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. A little walkie-talkie as well that Amelia got for Christmas, so she's really enjoyed playing with that. Um, she goes into another room um, and then um, my husband Sam, so her dad, and um, will be in another room and they really enjoy playing walkie talkies together. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm not going to be putting all the toys away. These are the kids' are new toys for Christmas, so they want to actually be out and playing with them. I have got a bunch of clothes that they got as well over Christmas. The kids have been so lucky with the amount of things that they've been given and gifted. Um, so I'm going to be taking these clothes upstairs to put away. So that is the front room done. As much as I said, as I said, I'm going to leave some toys out for them to play with. Um, this was a gift from my parents to Sam, my husband, and he absolutely loves condiments. So it's a whole gift basket of condiments. Um, they put this together. They actually have done it a few years in a row now, and it's actually the perfect present for him because he absolutely loves a condiment. So yeah, he's going to enjoy um, going through those. And obviously I get to benefit it as well so it's nice to try all different and new ones um, and yeah this is now Amelia's bedroom so now I've brought everything up I've kind of dumped it in here so I'm gonna go through 
um, and find all new homes in her bedroom and also put away the new clothes that she got. She got some lovely new clothes. She got some leggings and some jumpers. So really um, see her through winter and into spring with those leggings as well. And um, so yeah, well, she's got some really beautiful things and she's been, yeah, incredibly spoilt over Christmas. This was actually one of my, her main presents from my parents and it's actually dressing up Rail with all the outfits. So she's really loved dressing up over Christmas period um, and she's been, yeah, she's chosen a few different ones to dress up um, so far. So it's been so lovely because she really does love role playing and that sort of thing. So yeah, that's a perfect present for her. So this is a toy storage um, that I have, so this cupboard here is the sort of um, rotation that I try to use with the toys I'm not using at the moment. So I'm just going to pop a few in here uh, just to make some space for the new ones to keep the new ones out um, as obviously she's going to want to play with her new toys first. And there you go, her room is all tidied, her new toys are out and ready to be played with um, and everything has a, uh, has its place. I do feel like she still has quite a lot of toys in her bedroom so we might have to have a declutter in the new year. Um, but thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!